We are all called to a ministry that requires us to recognize and embrace change. Our mission at the Children's Home is to restore children and families from trauma through Jesus Christ. And we are committed to serving as many people through that ministry as is possible. We are also committed to continuously exploring new ways to expand and accelerate our ministry. We're committed to build on what has been a proud history of the Children's Home, evolving its programs over the years to adapt to the growing and changing needs of those we serve. Now we have been given an exciting opportunity. On January 17th, our Board of Trustees made a forward-thinking decision to expand and accelerate our ministry by selling our Decatur property. We estimate that our organization will be able to serve approximately 63 more people every year in perpetuity as a result of this decision. For over 100 years, our Decatur campus has allowed us to provide services to countless children and families in need across North Georgia. And now it's time for us to embrace this new opportunity. You're going to continue to get more information as we continue to take this exciting step. But for now, I'm hoping you'll please keep in mind this very important and for me very energizing fact. As we close the doors of the buildings on our Decatur campus, it's going to allow us to open countless other doors for the children and families we serve throughout North Georgia. What most excites me about the future of the United Methodist Children's Home is that now we can expand our work and expand our reach and help lots of United Methodists and lots of people in the community as a whole. When you have all that, it takes a lot of funds, and the local church, of course, is the key to that. But I can assure any member of a church that donates to what used to be called the Workday Fund, when they donate to the Children's Home, it's used in the most careful way. They are good stewards of our money. My dream for family housing is that we are in enough locations that maybe we won't need so many foster care families. I'm excited about the fact that our churches all across the conference, what they're going to think about is my United Methodist Children's Home down the street, around the corner. Our primary focus has always been loving and caring for children, making certain that children are safe, that children who are at risk have an opportunity to be away from that risk and in a safe and nurturing environment. That has never changed and I don't believe it ever will.